Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are just joining me now then I would love it if you would stick around and hit the subscribe button. Today I'm just going to be doing a get ready with me. I'm not doing too much, just go into the shops to get some food and probably going to take some pictures or something. So I'm going to start off with my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser. I've used this before in a video. I normally wear this when I have fake hand just because my face normally goes a lot paler than my neck. So I'm just going to put that on with my fingers, that's what I normally do. So I had my Covid jab about two weeks ago and I was fine, like when they first did it, I didn't feel anything and I am not normally good with needles, so yeah, I didn't feel anything, it was, it was absolutely nothing, but then as soon as they had done the jab sort of what was it like a couple of hours later so I had the jab at 10 past two and then at like about half ten at night I started feeling so shivery and just absolutely just so rough really and I just felt really ill for about a day and a half which when you think of obviously Covid you know it's worth it it's worth it to have the jab even if you do get a little bit ill from it because obviously COVID would be way, way worse and obviously people are dying from it. So I would say if you are thinking about having your jab, then I would suggest still going through with it even if you're worried about getting poorly because obviously it is way better than getting COVID. But yeah, that's just my opinion. and. The re if you're wondering why I managed to get my COVID jab, it's because I have kidney problems So, and I also have asthma. So the doctors rang me and said that I could have my jab. So I went, I had it done and I've been fine since, since those two days where I felt a little bit poorly. I've been fine. It went really quick and my arm only hurt for a couple of days. It was, yeah, that was fine. So, oh, I'm just using the Born This Way concealer by Too Faced. I'm just going to put a bit on the back of my hand so that I can cover my spots. I'm just looking forward to like the world going back to normal because I really, really want to go on holiday. I really want to, you know, get life things sorted out, like hopefully passing driving. I would like to do my theory for that and. Just all those different types of things that we can't do right now. I'd love to be able to get the world back to normal. If you're wondering what I'm wearing, I'm wearing this absolutely gorgeous two-piece that I got from Missy Empire. I did a haul on it and it's just these. I'll show you. Oh, gorgeous top like this. High-waisted pants. Love it very much. Super soft. Great for a day like this when the weather's not super hot. So now I'm going in with my little, I can't say it, Laura Mercier powder. Just gonna whiz that over my face. I've never had my hair like this before. And I think it's quite nice. And then I'm just taking my smaller brush and oh, I need to, I have got a new, Laura Mercier powder, but there's still some left in this, so I'm just trying to use every last little bit. Oh. I feel like everyone, since Covid's happened, everyone's been getting puppies. Like, we got a puppy, I've seen just puppies everywhere. I feel like I've never seen so many puppies in my life. And these past couple of like, what is it, last year and this year, I just feel like I've been all I've been seeing is puppies everywhere. I got a multi poo, and obviously I did a video back on bathing him. If you've not seen that, then go check out. And he's grown so much. Like he started off as about like this size, and now he's not huge, but he's like he looks bigger than he is because he's so fluffy, and he's having his first haircut on Monday, which I'm very excited because. At the minute his fur keeps getting a little bit matted and yeah it's just a bit it's a bit annoying at the minute so and it's getting in his eyes bless him so yeah I'm very excited to have have his hair cut on Monday so that'll be nice what am I doing next I'm gonna do my 
Hmm, what should I do now? I feel like I should either do my bronzer or my eyes. Let's do my eyes. So, I'm just going to go in with this old Clinique little palette that I have. Oh gosh, I'm dropping it. And I'm just going to take the middle shade. Oh gosh, try and show this. The middle shade. Oh, you can see yourself there. And take this little sponge brush thing that it came with and put that on my eyelids. He's so mischievous, like he sleeps with my mum because he cries in the night. If he is left without her, he follows her everywhere. He tries to get in the shower with her, he's just very cheeky. But we love him, he's so, so cute. And he bugs the hell out of my older dog, Blaze. She, she tolerates him and I also think that she, she does love him. But I just think, yeah, he kind of bugs her a little bit and gets in one of those hyper moods. What colour am I going to use next? So I'm just going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take this top corner shade. I don't know if it has a name, does it? One, two. I can't see that. No idea what it's called, but anyway, I'm just going to put it in the corner. So if you got a puppy during lockdown, then please let me know what you got down in the comments. I would love to know. I don't know what kind of puppy I would like in the future. I feel like I want a dog that isn't going to molt loads and also loves to cuddle and also loves going on walks because that would be really nice. I also don't want my dog to be too big. I feel like in the future I would like a medium sized dog or a small dog but just not too big and also maybe not too small because I just, yeah, just fancy a medium sized dog. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm going way too much with this eyeshadow. Do you ever do that? Like you're trying to do like a really natural sort of everyday look and then you end up going absolutely overboard on your eyeshadow. Just check that looks okay. Yep. Also, I'm, I've got a big mirror here, but because of the light, I feel like it's making this side look like I don't have as much on as this side, so I have to like cut my eye like this just to see if it's the same. I think that's about the same. I'm just gonna try and deepen up this corner a bit. Let me know down in the comments what sort of videos you'd like to see from me because I'm trying to figure out different videos to do but sometimes I do struggle so let me know what you would like to see because that would be really helpful. I can't wait until salons open up again and I can get my eyelashes permed because my eyelashes are just so straight and blonde and I just really can't wait to get them tinted black and you know permed so they're nice and curled upwards that'd be lovely because right now it's so hard doing my mascara like every time I put it on I just feel like it just doesn't look its best like it's just the mascara goes either really clumpy because I'm trying to put so much on to try and get them to stand up or there's not enough on and you can hardly see them so very annoying if there's any mascaras that you would recommend that really stand up straight eyelashes then please 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 let me know because yeah, it's very annoying. I feel like I'm so tired today. Is anyone else feeling absolutely knackered? I feel like, I don't know if it's this lockdown. I mean, I am a tired person anyway. I think it's got something to do with my kidney problems. But yeah, I'm just feeling more tired than normal. And my mum also says that she's been feeling a lot more tired than normal. So I don't know if it's just this lockdown and like, you know, not being able to do anything and just, you know, same shit, different day. I feel like maybe it's just getting to everybody. In the first lockdown, I did loads of exercise and kept myself busy. But in this lockdown, I've just been 
so lazy with my exercise. I haven't done my exercise in months and I'm like very disappointed in myself. I need to get back on the exercise exercise train. I really need to just do it but trying to get the motivation to actually get off my arse and do some exercise is very hard right now. Oh, Everyone has that weird face don't they when they do mascara. This is mine and it's just going so clumpy so annoying I end up using like three different mascaras or I don't know if I'm going to use three today maybe I'll use two but now I'm going to go in with oh I didn't say what this one was um, it's the They're Real by Benefit and then I'm also using Pillow Talk Push Up Lash by Charlotte Tilbury this wand kind of annoys me because there's only bristles on like two sides then this part in the middle oh gosh I'm not even showing you this part in the middle has no bristles so sometimes I'll be like trying to curl it around and then I'm like oh there's no bristles there so that's kind of annoying but I do actually like the the brush part that has got bristles on it because it does seem to help really brush them through and stand them up I'm not going to talk while I do this bit because it is actually annoying Okay, so I've just finished my mascara because I just felt like I could not speak at all whilst I was doing that. So, this is my mascara. Looks okay, it's not the best. I feel like my energy in this video is just not the best. I feel like I'm not uplifted enough. So, I'm going to be trying to change that, change my attitude. It's really annoying me when I'm a bit like, oh, this is what I'm doing. Do you know what I mean? So, try and wake myself up a little bit so next thing I'm going to be doing is going in with my bronzer did that make sense going in with my bronzer yep my puppy absolutely loves this brush if my makeup bags open this brush he will rummage through to find it I don't know why it's just his favorite brush of mine because he absolutely loves so yeah I'm going to the shops today to get some bits for I'm going to be doing a video following a recipe by somebody which I will tell you in that video but yeah I'm going to be following a recipe and it's going to be a vegan recipe I'm not vegan myself but I am vegetarian and I am very intrigued by the vegan lifestyle and who knows maybe one day I will be but at the minute I love cheese way too much and yeah I don't really understand too much about it so maybe the more educated I get on it then maybe I will but as of right now, I'm just vegetarian and the reason why I went vegetarian in the first place was I was never really happy with eating meat. I never enjoyed it. I mean, I enjoyed the taste, yeah, but I was never really happy with eating animals. So yeah, I just decided one day I was like, you know what, I'm going to go vegetarian because I want to be able to enjoy my meals and not feel like I'm going to find a bone or veins and all that sort of stuff because that seems to be everything I was eating I seem to find so yeah made the decision one day and that was that I kind of cut it out slowly though I didn't just co go like cold turkey I sort of I think the last thing that I was eating was bacon bacon was the last thing that I was eating but then yeah I don't even eat bacon anymore so yeah I've been vegetarian for a while now I think when did I, st I can't even remember, like I feel like maybe I was 18 I want to say or 19 when I went vegetarian, yeah oh sorry I'm not even telling you the product, so this one is Wet n Wild Highlight in, in Proud Illuminance there and then the bronzer I used is Beach Bronze by Urban Decay. So yeah, I'm just going to glow up the sides of my face. I do really enjoy being vegetarian, I don't ever miss not having meat and I don't think I'll ever go back, no, I'll never go back and if anything I might turn vegan one day but who knows, I might just stay vegetarian, we shall see. But like I said, I am very intrigued by vegan recipes and vegan baking. Like it just, 
I just love it. I love seeing like how you know they make it fluffy or how they stick everything together without eggs and things like that so I'm very intrigued by it and yeah just absolutely in love with certain recipes. There was a cheesecake when I used to work at a restaurant I'm just going in with Mac I don't even know what this colour is, it's so old. Fleur Power? I think it says Fleur Power. Yeah, anyway. So I'm going in with this blush. And yeah, when I used to work at this restaurant slash pub, they had a cheesecake there. Oh gosh, the glasses come out. They had a cheesecake there, which was absolutely unreal. And that was vegan. And people who worked at the restaurant who were like, oh, I don't agree with you know, vegans and all this lot, they were like, to be fair, that is a really good cheesecake. And yeah, I was like, I like that cheesecake. So now I'm just gonna go in with my brow pencil by Benefit, this one. I can't remember what shade I got it in, where, oh, 3.5. And I'm just gonna brush them through. I don't do too much with my eyebrows at the minute because I did recently wax and tint them myself. So I'm just going to actually, First things first, before I do that, I'm going to use the Brow Gimme Brow. Did I just say Brow Gimme Girl? I Benefits Gimme Brow, there we go. I'm going to use this and I'm just going to comb them through because I like to see where they need filling in or if they even need filling in, which I don't think they do, but I'm, I might give it a little bit just in this sparse area. I did film a video on me doing my eyebrows, I'm not sure if this is going up before that video or if that's already been up, so you've either seen it or it's coming out. Do my eyebrows need this brow pencil? Maybe a little bit there. I really like natural looking brows so I don't like to really fill them in loads because Back in the day, I did used to fill them in quite a lot. And I do sometimes when my eyebrows are in desperate need of waxing and tinting. But I generally really like the natural eyebrow look more than the full coverage eyebrow. So I do try to just feather this through and not make them too, too dark. That'll do. So what lipstick should I go with? I love this one. This is a lip crayon by, who's it by? So Eva. This is so nice. What shade is it in? It just says dream in color. Is that the shade? Anyway, it's a lip crayon by Zoeva and it is so silky soft. Like I'll just show you. How nice is that? It just goes on. It's like a lip gloss or a lip balm. It's just so creamy and I'm obsessed. It looks so nice. It's just if I was it's like if I was putting a tinted lip balm on. Speaking of tinted lip balms, this one by Glossier, berrybalm.com. This is my favourite one because it is it's like a dark purple, I don't know if you can see. It's a dark purple but it shows up a bit like, well, it doesn't even show up this dark. It's very, very, what do you call it, um, see-through. It's very see-through but it's got a tint to it so it just gives you, it looks like your lips but better. Like it gives your lips just a slight tint so that they just look more plump and luscious and I just, I'm obsessed, I love it so much. So this is my finished look, I hope you like it and if you did enjoy this video then please give it a big thumbs up and thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you next time, bye!